everybody. It's Basic Sorgonomics. Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter. And uh, we're still in that New Year's self-improvement kind of um, aspect around here and talking about how we do things and, and, and you know, talking about some of the philosophies we talk about uh, from time to time. And and, 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 and I've talked about in, the, in December, especially some of the things that have uh, motivated me over the years. And... Um, one of them, there was a book, geez, I scantly recall all the details of this book, uh, but there was one called Never Eat Alone, or yeah, Never Eat Alone, I think it was the name of it, and and that's always kind of in the back of my head, and my interpretations, I'm sure, are, are just, you know, small details embedded in me from that book, um, but it is something that I'm still kind of with. Now, I'm saying, oh, never eat lunch alone. Um, or be in the, I think it's whether it be in the break room, but mostly like taking lunches, taking uh, meetings, you know, getting out there, talking with different people is more the big thing about it. And one thing is lunch. We're social when we eat, right? And that's something I take to heart a little bit. Somebody um, makes some comments out there when they see, oh, you're having, you know, it seems like all you do is have lunch meetings and take coffees with people. I was like, well, yeah, sometimes it feels like it. Looking at my schedule this week, sometimes it feels like it. Uh, but uh, but that's progress as far as I'm concerned. Any opportunity is out there to to usually I'm having coffee or lunch with somebody new or somebody I'm catching up with, uh, somebody I want to collaborate with or have collaborated with and want to catch up on a project. Um, that's that's really important uh, as far as I'm concerned, and and not important as like we gotta have an important business meeting. You know, um, there's actually stuff getting done typically when this happens and fitting that in. You know, um, it was really cool, uh, it really interesting to see uh, the beginning of the year, how many people are like, hey, let's have that coffee or how to have a coffee, you know, first time reach outs or people that have been trying to get a hold of for a few months and just, you know, the holidays get, get weird. Um, and finally, a lot of them are pulling together and, uh, and I'm going to be able to touch base with a lot of people. I talked about how there's a lot of things in motion right now, and a lot of opportunities coming up and that's for business, that's for growth, that's for creativity. And that's for everything that the my business uh, is kind of aiming for, and and that also started early on uh, early business here because um, that's how a lot of the relationships that um, this business are kind of surrounding uh, were kind of forged and stuff like that. Uh, you know, the people that I'm I'm doing regular projects with are are people that I had a lunch with, I had a coffee with. And uh, or even catching up with people uh, that, uh, that that we work with or work for me, you know, um, you know, get the feel out who these people are before we say, hey, can you can, can you point this camera over here, for instance, or or or, or something of that nature. Uh, I, I think uh, I think that's really important, and that's even what you take from the meeting and, and air about that, you know. I hate taking calls. Um, I take two calls today. I think I have another one scheduled for Friday, and. Uh, it's always well, one day I hate something like that. Uh, I, I hate when I need a to do list and not have an email because I have to remember everything. If I didn't write it down right away, I'm probably not going to remember it. So remember that if you're working with me and I say, oh, I'm going to do X, Y and Z. Make sure you saw me write it down in my on my iPhone or something like that, because there's a much better chance it's going to get back to you. Uh, but it's just the way I operate. And, and we all have our failings in organization when it comes to that. And even uh, looking forward to the things that I'm going to be talking about this week, or maybe have already happened by the time you're you're hearing this. So hopefully I have a good air about them after this. Um, or, or again, I, I don't know if all of them are going to be new jobs or anything like that, or just something fun and interesting um, that will ho hopefully grow, or just get some good ideas, or just have coffee and chat with somebody different. Um, I'm so interested. I, I, I always bring it up, but, you know, Aside from traveling around town, I enjoyed just talking with different people uh, when we did Unsung, when we have different people on the show, uh, on the shows of the Awesome Cast and Wrestling Mayhem show. You know, uh, how many people from around the country, around the world we've talked to, and I hear they, I just hear their perspective on things. And uh, that informs my own perspective. I just like talking with people in general and, <laughs> and, and, and having that kind of back and forth and, and, and uh, uh, getting, getting vibes off of people. And, uh, and, and that kind of goes to that. Maybe, maybe you're not somebody who can have, I can't have lunch every day. I got this job. I got an hour lunch. It's just not going to work or, or this or the other thing. It's like, well, you know, if nothing else, you can do a lot of this 
um, over a Skype or a Hangout. You know, um, I think that's that that works just as fine as well. Um, maybe you do take the phone calls. You know, maybe maybe, maybe it's something like that. Um, if you're in a more remote kind of area, you got to use the tools available to you. Um, being in uh, the city, I have a huge resource that people are accessible. Uh, even when I had a day job, trying to get lunches with people uh, was a little easier. Maybe it's like, hey, I'm going to take an extra half hour today because I'm going maybe a little further uh, out of the South Hills, you know, than I probably should on a lunch break for my day job. Um, but I made it work. And if you really want to seek those opportunities and make those opportunities, you're going to make it work if you really want to. You're, 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 you're having, a, having the life you want is not easy. And, uh, and you're going to, you know, keep going back to that, you know, uh, the easy thing feels like the sucky thing, but that's a whole other conversation. Um, but no, get out there, make a list. This isn't from the book. This is just for me. Like make, make a list. Even if it's just people you haven't talked to for a while, they had that party and they had that good idea and be like, Oh, we should do this thing one day. It's like, Hey, uh, you know, Catch up with, with a few people. Make a list of four people that you want to catch up with in the next month. It can even be family members. That That's fine, too. I, I love having lunch with my grandfather when I worked out uh, uh, his way doing adjunct teaching. I made a point to say, hey, you know, I, I had this day where I had a, a gap of like four hours between some classes that I taught. So I'm like, hey, let's connect and go to Primanti's or Eaton Park or something and just just catch up. And uh, those were priceless moments for me. And uh, that's okay, too. So make that list for people. Maybe you won't get them all week to week. Maybe you'll have to bundle them up a little bit uh, and, and, and see if you can get out there. See if you can get out there and talk with them. And you never know what's going to happen from those. And if it's somebody you want to make sure you're in touch with for a while and you're using some kind of reminder on your iPhone or something, say, hey, Get a hold of Bob. Remind me once a month to reach out to him. Maybe that turns into a lunch. Maybe you just get lunch next week or next month when that reminder comes up again. But now you have a consistent connection with that person. It works for me. Um, and I make sure, and there's more people I need to add to the list, uh, but there's certain some people on there that I make sure maybe every month, maybe every week, maybe every couple of months, maybe even say, hey, remind me every three months. You know, I just want to see what this guy's up to. He's really busy. I don't want to bother him, you know, too much. Uh, old friends from high school, old friends from church, old friends from whatever, old friends from childhood, uh, old friends from that old job. If you're like, man, I don't hang out with them anymore. Uh, try some stuff out. See how it works for you. Let me know what you think. At Sorgatron on the Twitters. See you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.